Tonight, nearly half a million Ford escapes have been recalled, and it's all over an issue our investigators first exposed just last week. Yeah, this issue is so big, in fact, our Scripps National Investigative Team in Washington has been looking into it. Joe Ducey from our Scripps station in Phoenix is following tonight's major developments. Ford's recall announcement today came less than two weeks after government regulators started investigating more than 700,000 Ford Escapes and its twin SUV, the Mazda Tribute. Ford is recalling nearly a half a million 2001 to 2004 V6 Escapes for a possible stuck throttle problem when the speed control cable gets stuck on the engine cover, leaving the car accelerating at high speeds. We found incidents that go back seven years. The ABC 15 investigators were there when an inspector says he found the same thing under the hood of Sage Bloom's car. The patient teenager died after her 2002 Ford Escape accelerated out of control and crashed in January. That started our investigation into it and similar crashes. Today in Phoenix, the head of the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, NHTSA, says a recall won't stop their investigation. We also continue to monitor those particular vehicles on an ongoing basis. And if we find that the remedy is not adequate, we'll ask the manufacturer to do something different to make sure that it is. NHTSA has not ruled out other actions involving Ford, like whether the recall call came in a timely manner. While auto safety experts applauded the government's investigation into the issue, some don't think Ford's fix does enough. Clarence Ditlow is with the Center for Auto Safety in Washington. They're not fixing the underlying defect, which is the cruise control cable. Ford says it will fix the problem by raising the engine cover so that the speed control cable stops sticking under it. But Ditlow and others say the speed control cable itself is the issue and needs to be replaced. They're trying to avoid a civil penalty being imposed by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration for not recalling the vehicles in 2005. Didlow is pushing NHTSA to fine Ford for not issuing a recall on the cable back in 2005 when he says this document shows they knew about it.